So we're going to jump into the autonomous vehicle here. So this is Dr. X. This, this is a standard minivan. And number two, we added a lot of equipment. Like we have screens over here. Yep. If you are a programmer or if you're no programming, you know this is a standard urban tune system, fully open source. Huh. The program is running, we are collecting the data. So when we are running, you will see the students. This student has a keyboard yeah. and computer. So he's in a little bit, he's going to run a program to control the vehicle. Amazing. And then we have a big red button over there. Right. So anytime if anything goes wrong, just push that button and the vehicle will stop. Okay. So it'll be very safe. You Let's go. Oh, I it's want fun. to see how yeah. it works. Okay. Are you guys ready? Yeah. And by the way, these are two wonderful PhD, PhD students. students. What an opportunity for them to work with you. That's yeah. wonderful. So Chen Xi is going to graduate this year. He's huh. in his fifth year. And Yu Xing just finished his first year. Okay. So nice. And Stop my uh, yeah. last year, I graduated my first PhD student, and um, she is a female student. Uh, she is becoming an assistant professor at Old Dominion University. Nice. Starting from July. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Chen Xi, are you guys ready? Yeah, we are ready. Yeah. Okay. In that case, we can go. So the student will click this button, engage, mm -hmm. and then the vehicle will start driving. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So now it shows that we're in auto mode. That is pretty yeah. freaky. We are going to drive slowly, no more than 30 miles per hour. Uh, so it will be very safe. Um, but as I mentioned, uh, the vehicle drive by itself, so the students don't interact with the, yeah. with the vehicle. But we have a safety driver, so if anything goes wrong... The, we can uh, have the, someone taken over. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, as I mentioned, the thing we really love is when we are driving, the sensors are collecting the data. We are collecting those data, visualizing the data, processing the data in real time. So this is computer science stuff, yeah, mechanical right. engineering stuff. But I can so. see how soon the human to machine interaction, the yeah. psychologists, this is a, there's so much that they've studied. Right. It'll be amazing. Yeah. This is so cool. There's a very interesting um, sort of debate going on, meaning we know human 93 3% of the time human is a problem. Like, well, yes, exactly. So we want a vehicle to drive not like a human. Yeah. Right. right. But and the, the ethical hand, people with ethics, with the decision making. Yeah, right. on the other hand. On the other hand, if a vehicle doesn't drive according to your habit, you will have a tendency to take over. Mm. Like you will say that, hey, yeah, why yeah. don't you speed up? Let me take over. Yeah. yeah right. so, 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 so in terms of human factors, there's a, a lot of research uh, going on as well. That how, how vehicle can drive like a human, mm. but in the meantime, safer. Right. So we are finishing one round here. What do you think? Do you have any amazing, questions or comments? Amazing, yeah, amazing. That was beautifully How driven, many? guys. Yeah. <laughs> this is so great for us to oh, have. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. For our fans' day. Fantastic.